CS27. This is a video that explains Lab 10, which talks about encryption and hashing analysis. So in this lab, you are required to use our Server 2012 and also Windows 10. So make sure that you fire on BDC01 and also Windows 10. Turn that on. Then follow the steps in the exercises. The first exercise, it talks about cryptographic basics. And in the task, it have you install crypto demo. And in crypto demo installation, it walks you through the steps here. So in the first one, you would use Windows 10. And on Windows 10, you would then open up your, your Internet Explorer, go to Tools, Hacking Tools, and be able to locate CryptoDemo.zip. Make sure that we are in the practice lab, Windows 10. Otherwise, you would get confused and not be able to find the things that you need. Then once you download, you would then double click crypto demo folder to extract it or right click to extract and then double click to open so go through the wizard with the utility setup you would then install crypto demo on windows 10 so once the installation is completed you will be able to launch the application And it would look something like this. Now you would be able to select the drop down menu where you can pick the type of algorithm that you can use. And in the screenshot here, they show the triple DES. So that would require three passes. So we choose triple DES in the step one. Then we would type in practicelab.com and add in the text that's shown. Welcome to Practice Lab. We hope you really enjoy the course. As you enter in the data portion and the key, then you can click encrypt. And what that will do is it's going to show the encrypted data below here. Then in the next step, it talks about that you need to be careful. Delete the data field containing the written text you entered and don't change the key or the algorithm type. So we would clear out the data section here and not modify anything else. Then we would then de click decrypt and the decrypt button would then be able to show you the original data that you would have typed in at the beginning. So the decrypt takes this, which is unreadable, and make it into the readable. Now you can try other type, RC2, RC4, DES. Then it asks you to delete some of the last characters in the encrypted data. And what happened is you would then generate a different hash values. So in the next step, when you delete the content for the encrypted data, when you generate a random key, when you click the random key button, it's going to give you a value there. And then you're going to click encrypt.
and now it tells you to delete the time key so click on the time and delete the time key and then click encrypt and see what value is generated So we would see another output that would differ from the first result because then we would then delete the original option. In the next step, you're going to use hashing. And in this, you use MD5 hash algorithm, which is very common. It does have vulnerability. However, it's used for downloading and a lot of the common resources on the web. So you would then type in the data field. Congratulations, you're learning how hashing works. So unlike the encryption here, it tells you that the hashing doesn't change when you click get hash button. So click get hash button. It's going to give you a value. And you're going to click the drop down options to select different hash algorithm and we're going to pick sha1 and click get hash so with that you would see the hash value indicated here then you're going to take a screen capture then in the next step you are going to use hash calculator to compare the hashes so you would need to go to the E drive in crypto folder and you would open up the hashcalc.zip. So that will be this one. We wanted to extract it and be able to run the setup. So when you go through the wizard, click next for the installation. Then we're going to keep it default in that path and click next. And then you're going to finish installing the hash calculator. So this calculator is used to for you to compare the hashes. So when you use the hash calculator, you would then put in the data format and change its text string. So what you can do is you can specify the type of hash that you're using. Then in the data, type in some text. So here they have you type in welcome to device PLAB Win 10. And then you're going to calculate the result. So here it shows you different hash algorithm and what would be the value for those. In step two, we would check the HMAC value. So for the the key, you would then type you for the key value you would type in tidy mine. right here, and then you would calculate. Then you can now change the data format to hex string. And there is a hex value that's shown in the blue. So type in 0000FF as you would type in the data here. And finally, then you would load the file from the hash count to be evaluated so you would change to file 
and we would then install putty So after you got the MSI installer, you will be able to launch installation for Putty. Now going back to the hash calculator, you would click the dot dot dot, which is a browse button to navigate to the Putty document installer, and then you would click open. And then we can click calculate to look at the result for the hash file. So what we did there was we used the installation for putty to be able to check to see if for our hashes if it's been a match. So we when we compare the hashes to this file, which is online for, to the putty exe, if it matches However, you notice the values are long and could be difficult to read. It tells you that it shows you to compare the calculated hash downloaded file for the hash provided in the creator file. So if the calculated file, the calculated the value is matching to the creator file, then you have the exact file. This will allow you to confirm the file you have is the correct file, not has been modified in any way. So the, the putty that you downloaded, if it hasn't been modified, then your hash would be matching exactly. So in the next one, they're going to have you access the hash value from website. And the hash value produced by the hash calculator, we would compare it. So you're going to open up Internet Explorer inside Windows 10. And so here you are going to navigate to checksum for all the above files. So in the checksum, you are going to look at the MB5 and the SHA-1. So you are going to click on MB5 sum. And you would see the MB5 sum, which is this. So the MD5 sum for putty is this right here. Then you are going to click on the SHA sum. And you would find that like this. And here they give you the details in the specific there. Then in test 2, you are going to use an online tool. You are going to use onlinemd5.com and you can use this tool to compare. And you are going to copy the MD5 hash value to the website and you're going to paste that there. So that was from your calculator that you generated in the last test. And you are going to go to the compare with, press the compare button. So copy the calculator. So what you're doing is you're using the generated value that you had from the calculator compared to the website that was provided hash that you copy and paste it from the website so the calculated value should be matching the website value if it matches then that means that it has integrity in step three you are going to compare SHA so we are going to copy the SHA value hash key to 
the checksum and compare with, we're going to use the calculated from the calculator and paste that there. Once you've done that, we will provide the screenshot and move on to the summary. Answer the summary questions. And then you're going to, going to click done to submit. And that would entail lab 10 in which you work, you, you work with encryption tool along with hashing tool using the hash calculator and compare the value that's calculated to the website that provided hash value for the PuTTY executable download. And PuTTY is generally used to connect to a system remotely. So often you would see that downloadable executable is provided with a hash and you can use it to check its integrity by calculating on the calculator and then use an online tool to compare. This concludes lab 10 instructional video. Please let me know if you have questions.